All right, so let's go over how you can relax your mesh here in Blender. Now, I did this video once before. I took it down. I'm doing it again real quick. So shout out to Spectre for pointing out uh, one of the relax features that I wasn't aware of. Uh, however, I'm going to show you that here. I'm going to tell you which one he pointed out too. And so when you're doing a mesh, usually on a higher density mesh, it works out better. But a lot of times you might have like uh, mesh that's kind of dense in areas and you want to relax it. If you come from other software like Max or Maya, you're probably aware of this, that you would just select like your geo um, in that area perhaps. And then you would hit like something, you'd go to like vertex menus or whatever, you, whatever menu you got to find in Max or Maya. And you can relax your mesh. So a little button, press like uh, smooth vertices, for example. It's similar, right? And so smooth vertices is still great, but it's not what we need. We want to relax this area, right? So how do we do that here in Blender? It's not in edit mode. It's actually in sculpt mode. You got to go to sculpt mode. Okay. It's a couple different ways you could try to do this. So first mesh filter and you can set it to relax. Okay. And you can click and drag and it will do it kind of globally across the mesh. You see how it's trying to preserve the shapes or the volume, but it's not, it's like shifting all the um, edges around to, so they're kind of like relaxing. That's great. Except sometimes you want to target specific areas. So you, you go into edit mode, make a selection. Like so, right? Maybe a little bit more. And then what you can do is you can go back to sculpt mode. So control tab to sculpt mode, use mesh filter, set it to relax. And now you can use face sets and face set boundaries as well. And up, up over here under face sets, remember in edit mode, we had this selected. In sculpt mode, we can do face set from edit mode selection. So now we're going to use auto masking for face sets, face sets, boundaries. We can click and drag and we can relax just this area. That's the ideal kind of setup there that we want to utilize um, in a lot of situations. It's very uh, predictable on what's happening. Now what Spectre had pointed out was that um, the slide relax tool, believe it or not, if you hold shift while using this, normally it allows you to kind of drag your topology around on the surface, which is really good. Uh, but if you hold shift, it actually does a relax as well. So you can go through and kind of uh, use this to do things a little bit more manually, perhaps, without having to rely off the face sets. Okay, so that's actually really nice. Now, the previous video, I, of course, started getting lost in doing like vertex colors, uh, painting, and, and all that fun stuff. We're not going to get into all that in this one. I will, however, mention that you can use the mask tool. Right, the regular mask tool. And you can also mask out areas like so. Mask menus A, you can invert it. You can also use mesh filter with relax this way. So if you wanted to do it like that, you could. All right. A to clear it. And uh, since I mentioned it, paint vertex colors, set it to something like red. You can click and drag in here. So you can paint with vertex colors. Hit Shift uh, F to turn up the strength. I just want to point this one out again, real quick. Vertex colors. Once you paint them, you can use the um, mask by color uh, tool. So you can actually create a mask this way as well. And you can invert it. And so now you can go ahead and use like mesh filter with that, perhaps and uh, do a relax in just that area or use the other tools like inflate for example right go back to edit mode symmetrize and do numbers like that all right and if you don't want to see the vertex colors all it's done is it's turned on a tribute over here you go back to material you can turn that back off in sculpt mode you'll see our mask we can clear it if we want to if you don't want to see face sets you can go up here turn face sets on or off in a, that drop down blender 4.2 the face sets will be in the new drop down i think but it might be in that same one i'd have to look into that uh, but anyways yeah so that's pretty much how that's all going to happen and if you want to take the uh, mask tool by the way you can change fall off to projected and you can turn on symmetry if you want as well you can paint straight through the mesh like this so that it gets both sides. That's what that's what projected does anyway. So you can invert that, use mesh filter, inflate, or uh, relax. Right. So you can see how that works out, or even use a uh, smooth too.
and play around with those settings there. All right, and add a subdivision later, perhaps. So you can make a lot of really cool, interesting edits to your meshes. And at the end of the day, this is just polygonal modeling still. So you can always play around with some of these settings and see what you can get going. Make really cool stuff, perhaps. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I'll check you out the next one.